akuji atoe rabi rabi rake karibu former prime minister haya Wafijangu mweshimiwa William Samoe Ruto Wambulezaji wata mba mefika siku ya leo Muriega Muriega ringi Tumekuja Kwa hafla muhimu zaidi Hafla ya kuzindikiza mama wetu Maitu Mukami Kimathi Ndiyo sababu ni mekuja Kapitra siya endalea mbele Nataka ni tamulia wale mbao ni mekuja na wapa Niko wapa na bwana Jerema Kioni Secretary General ya Jolie Party Niko vile vile na liyekua gavana wa Muranga Bwana Mwangi wa Iria Pandi lagi ni, ni kau beli beli apa? Si Uzen gitu kau engeri alat itu metamper tamperiwa, gitu kau engeri, ambai dia ni mana kiti wa veterans, pemau mau. Beli beli tu kau apa? Nak iya nak tu kau apa? Nai itu wa mai nanjenga. Kasa. Siku ya leo ni siku muhimu sana Nataka kutuwa shukurani Kwa sirikali Kwa kutambua mama na kusema Hii hafla itakua hafla ya kitaifa Lakini nataka kwa kosoa Wana kachakwa lusema At his national funeral lakini bendera hae kuwe kwa nusu mlengoti The flag was blown at half past If it's a national funeral Pili Mama huyu alikuwa anawasia Alisema angependa Siku ya mbana ziku hapa Hili mzoga ya mili ya bwana yake itolewe kule committee prison iletu hapa izike pamoja na hii hapu kandi yake hiyo ni wishi yake mbae ingawaji ya panyika hapa minataka kuambia wangalie hii mneno ipanyike na leta ni sana irambirambi ya raise li staffu uhuru migaye kinyata ya kalonzo musioka mama matha karua wote mleta ni zora rambi rambi huyu mama ni rafiki yangu ukiona katika huyu kitabu mkona ya hapa utaona picha hii ambayo tunapika na hii moja yao hiyo picha ilipikwa katika buma hii kwa buma hii siyo mara moja hivyo ni niku hapa anajua mama hai yote vile vile tumekuwa nae mpaka kule pale ambaye kimati alishikwa pale alipigwa risasi tumeenda nae pale ambaye jamaa wanasema nataka hiyo museum pamoja na yeye nilipoenda kumuona yeye mwaka jana alikuwa naogoa kule korokocho akaniambia mimi yeye amechoka kuishi katika nyumba ya kukodisha nikamwambia tutafute yeye nyumba na tukatafuta nyumba ya National Housing Corporation kuli ya Thriva Nilimununua ye nyumba Kuli Tulijuona na ye miaka 28 iliopita Alikuja kwa ofisi yangu Akaja na mjuku wake Mba enda kwa na hitwa Didan Kimathi Jr. Akaleta huyo kijana Yana alikuwa nataka kuenda kusoma huko India 
na mimi nikamsaidia kijana akaenda India alipokuwa kule India alikuwa anaandikia mimi barua mara kwa mara bila yeye anaendelea nikamwambia soma vizuri kabisa wewe ndio Didier Kimathi ambayo inakuja sasa akasema mpaka kafuzu lakini bahati mbaya alipomaliza ilikuwa inatarajia kuja hapa akapata ajali huko atialishika stima akachomeka na stima na akafariki may the lord rest his soul in eternal peace sasa huyo mama yeye eh, bila msemekana hapa alikuwa ni mpigania uhuru yeye mwenyewe yeye ni sababu yeye ni shujaa sasa baba tunasema yeye tunamuita yeye hayati yeye alipigania uhuru yeye ni field marshal field marshal mkamio kimathi yeye mwenyewe alioleteswa kabisa na wabeberu na mama mao walijitokeza wakaenda msituni kupigania uhuru na kulikuwa na sababu inajulikana uhuru wa nchi yetu ileletwa kwanza na juhudi ya mama mao kuna wengine ambao wako ni mzituni ambao walipigana wengine katika vyama vya upanyikazi wengine katika vyama vya siasa katika bunge na kadhalika juhudi hayo yote ilileta uhuru katika taifa letu lakini vile wengine wamesema hapa mao mao ambao walipigana hawakupata riziki wale makaragosi ambao walikuwa na ramba matako ya mzungu wengi wao ndio wakapata hata mashamba wale ambao walikuwa wanapigania home guards and loyalists ya mzungu sasa wakati miwadia ya kuchungumbuka hao watu kwanza tulipokuwa kwa serikali na bwana Kibaki kukubaliana kwamba mao mao itolewe kwenye orodha ya ile vyama ambavyo naitwa terrorist organizations ndio sisi tukatambua mao mao kama a liberation movement wakati huo baadaye okawa wao wana kati kupitia kwa chama chao kiongozi na mzee kitu wakaingeri huyo wako nataka ridha kutoka kwa serikali ya kimwingereza wakaajiri mawakili wakashtaka serikali ya uingereza katika mahakama kule uingereza for the compensation ya mamao lakini sasa kesi ile kwenda endelea na endelea gharama ikoje juu wakaja kuangu mimi nikaenda kama waziri mkuu uingereza nikaongea na waziri mkuu wakati ule David Cameron katika ofisi yake namba 10 Downing Street nikamweleza kwamba hao watu walipigania uhuru wengine waliteswa waliweka kwenye detention na kadhalika wanataka ridha tukamshauria na yeye bwana akakubali tukakubali na out of court settlement kwa mama mambo ya mama sasa kalipa shilingi billion mbili tena kakubali kujenga monument ya ukumbusho ya mama hiyo monument walileta pesa wakajiri kandarasi na mimi mwenyewe nilienda pale uhuru uhuru park freedom corner tuka kukumbusha wakumbuka mamao mao msaada ya serikali ya Uingereza kile tunasema shukrani sasa huyu mama alienda katika msituni walikuwa na sababu kiko mambo ya vita iko mara mbili there's two types of violence bwana mandela nelson mandela alipokuwa anashtakiwa kule mahakamani ya afrika kusini alipokuwa anajitetea katika mahakama ya ribonia alisema mimi sipendi mambo ya fujo 
I detest violence. Because violence begets violence. There are two types of violence. There is what you call oppressive violence. But the violence which the system uses against the people. And then there is another type of violence that is called defensive violence. That is the violence which use, people use to defend themselves against oppression. The two are not equal. The, when the police disperse innocent citizens who are demonstrating, that is called oppressive violence. When the people defend themselves by throwing stones, that is called defensive violence. The two are not the same. We have said our country, this Mao used violence to defend our country. And in doing so, the country, our country attained independence. We must therefore create a lasting system that will ensure that we never get back again in a situation where people are going to be oppressed. We must create an, a society that is understanding and caring. We must not look at each other as enemies. We must also deal with this issue called ethnicity or tribalism. When the Kenyans were fighting for independence, there was no, no tribalism. People were all united as one people. Mao Mao were detained in Hola, in Manyani, and several islands on Lake Victoria. There's an island of Lake Victoria called Oyamo Island at Mageta. Kina Mauru Kanja Olifunga Uku. Olikota Tolewa, Spui when a letter, Kufanya Kaziko Barabara, Jenny on a road to Uku. Lakini Sikungine, our Mau Mau, Manako Likona Tesla Namzungo Moja Hapo, and Likona Hito Kamongo. When you pick a woman, I come back of war. Sasas, the Kali Kaleta Maskari, when I tap foot a how what you could quit. Dagi Rikuja, a love on a Sukuna Sema, Katika Radio, Atim Kikuyu, Mubiru, Namuembu, Nuatu Atari, Ukena Moja Kamkuja Karibu, Pika report to police by Moja. Here is the project of the bill. Lakini, while you are picking your huru, while you are being a nation, you are going to be a matu. While you say, you are going to be a pita, you are going to be a Uganda, you are going to be a Uganda. 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 Jaramogi Alienda Katika Bunge. Akasema. Mr. Speaker, Jomo Kenyatta, and all those who were detained with him were and are the true leaders of our country. And their continued detention by the colonial government offends the consciousness of our people. Wakati huo, wakiri wa Afrika pao lekua wa bonge, wali mkanusha jaramogi. Because those people were leaders at that time, but were not elected by anybody. We are not the current leaders. Lakini Jeremogi alisimama imara. Wakanya wakaungana pamoja. Watu wa moranga wakasema, Jeremogi masema ukweli. Eldoret wakasema ukweli. Mbasa wakasema ukweli. Ndiyo kaanza mambu na etwa uhuru na kinyata. Mpaka uhuru ikapatikana. Uhuru wa Kenya ilikuja kwa sababu ya umoja ya wa Kenya. And we want Kenya to continue to remain united. And Kenya, Kenyans will be united when much also speak truth to power. Mambia, truth to power. Apani ya Tiswa, apani ya Nagopa. Nagopa nini? Nagopa. 
Kwa hivyo sisi kama wazazimio si maandazimu. Sisi si maandazimu. Tunaweza tu kuelewana. Tunaweza tu kuelewana. Si ndio? Huyo bwana Sisene ananiambia mimi ati yeye ana kuna saba mama angalia saba. Si yeye ni tumo ya kule saba. Huyu Ruto huyo ni mpaelee kazi kwa muda mrefu sana. Yeye alinijua mimi. Kwa hiyo kazi za ile akipiga kelele huko mimi naangalia tu. Najua atapoa. Sisi tumesema tumetuma sasa watu wetu jopo kazi. Yeye ameleta watu yake na tumeleta watu yangu. Bana sawa sawa. Lakini sasa mimi naomba hiyo kweli. Gharama ya maisha imepanda. Hapana leta ushuru mingi zaidi. Hapana ni weka tena muziki mwingine juu yake. Punda imechoka. Jamaa hawaambii wewe. Mimi nilijaribu kuambia wewe tu. Punda imechoka. Tutaongea wakati mwingine. Asante sana. Ngoja nyama fadhili tupende.